Where do I start? Welcome back to the channel, Paul the Flea Flipper here. Now I know this is gonna be a different kind of video that you guys are used to. Usually you guys see me at yard sales, go into different places, find different items to resell online. But something just happened today that I had to make a video about and I had to put it out for you guys so you guys are aware and hopefully you guys can contact somebody in eBay and tell them how idiotic this policy is. So what, what sparked this? Um, I sold a Fitbit watch, Fitbit Charge 3 watch. I got this at a yard sale for $3. It was brand new, sealed, pretty decent watch. Sold for about 90 bucks on eBay. I sold it for $90 on eBay. The buyer started a return saying now it's described, saying that the item wasn't brand new even though it's still sealed. I got it back, as you see, different box, open box. The watch, not only is it not brand new anymore, it is in two pieces. Crusty, old pieces. So I got scared, right? It happens, it happens quite a bit, surprisingly. Uh, just how tolerant eBay are of buyers that scam people is, is insane to me. It happens quite a bit. So in the past, I get scammed. I have a partial refund tool. Um, it's not the greatest, but I still get some of my money back. So I was gonna refund the guy 45 bucks. Keep 45 from me. I'm still in the profit. I paid three for the watch. It's not good as 90. It is what it is. I'll suck it up. Blah blah blah. I go to give a partial refund. Not available. The tool is not there anymore. I call an eBay rep and they're like, yeah, for 90 days we took that tool away because you've been giving too many partial refunds. And I was like, okay, but. Can you tell me which one of these partial refunds was not justified for the, for the actions that I got? Every single time it was a partial refund was because something was either a wrong INAD or it was sent to me in the same way I did. It was used, it was damaged. Can you give me one example of where I misused the policy and the people said, no, we can't, you just use it too much. So they, so pretty much, apparently if you get scammed too much times on eBay, they're like, whatever, we're just gonna stop protecting the guy. So I'm like, okay, what can we do about this? And he says, nothing. Nothing you can be done about this. It's your word against his. And he has pictures that it's busted. I'm like, yeah, he has pictures of his old watch that he sent me. Of course, he got pictures of a busted watch. So he forwarded me to another rep, which is even less helpful than this guy. And the other rep said, for 90 days, they took away the, the refund tool from me for 90 days. So for 90 days, there's nothing I can do about anything. I can get scammed for everything that I sell from now on on eBay for 90 days and there's nothing that eBay is going to come doing to help me. <laughs> Why would I, as a seller, do list on that platform now? I'm just thinking about it. I have multiple items that are 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 dollars. And they're saying for 90 days, somebody can go and buy that item from me, uh, send me back an empty box with nothing in it, and there's nothing they're gonna do to help me. eBay, what is this? What kind of policy is this? How does this make sense in your brain to treat sellers like this? Uh, I told them, uh, I am legit debating, I'm still debating right now, because I just got off the phone with them, of taking down all my listings and just listing on Mercari, on Poshmark, on Facebook for 90 days, is gonna kill my sales, the, <laughs> I know that. But at least I know I have protection. <laughs> it's just so, so frustrating, man, it's so frustrating. Uh, just just to, to, to give so much effort to a platform and then have them reward you with this is just, oh my goodness. So yeah, I just wanna let you guys know, it's gonna be a very short video that this policy is now in place. And make sure you guys go check to see if you guys are not in this nine day umbrella on eBay, make sure you guys are protected and please if you're watching this forward it email it to do all ebay's instagrams twitters facebook's e every email you have email this link so ebay can see this video and see how stupid that policy is and so they can change it it's, it's just that simple because like right now like I am scared now. Anytime I get a sale, I, I, I just got a $120 sale right now. Just got a $120 sale for a music box right now. What if that person tries to scam me for that, that music box? I, I'm, out, I'm out that money too. It's legit like terrifying. I'm gonna be like walking on eggshells in the next three months with eBay. Not celebrating any sale <laughs> until I get a positive, uh, 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 until I get a positive feedback, I guess. It, it's, it's scary. 
it's a scary world to, to live in. It's a scary world where your bills rely on this, when your rent relies on this, when all this relies on this, and you put so much years of effort into building this business, and eBay can just go in one second and say, sorry, you're screwed. It's scary, and it's not fair. So eBay, if you're watching, please fix it.